All right, today's project, we are gonna be working on the Veloster again. Uh, my main goal is really just to find out if I need a core support or not. So I'm gonna start ripping into the car and we'll see where we get from there. So the reason I need to find out whether or not I need a core support, well, in these I think they're called a radiator support, but it's the same thing. Um, this one's bent back real far. Let's see if I can get So I'm gonna start taking this apart and check back in in a minute. So I quickly removed this trim piece that was up in here hiding the support and half of the grill. Actually, no, it was a whole grill and that headlight. So in order to remove the trim piece, it was just four bolts across here. And then there were two little plastic clips that held it in. And that is just that piece right there. And then my grill was broken, so it just popped right out. And then it seems like the headlight only had one bolt. And that bolt was up top. And that's all the way up here. So upon further inspection of the core support, you can see exactly where it bent right up in here. And it was just bent back that way. I already pulled it out a little bit, so it's even right where it should be. But I'm gonna go ahead and get a new one just so I can tell that I did the job right and I feel safe in this car. And now I'm looking at it a little bit closer. The AC condenser is very much bent. I'm willing to bet that it punctured somewhere and I'm going to need to replace that also, which Judging by the looks of it, it's a lot easier than most. It doesn't have those crappy quick release things. So, got one bolt there, and then one bolt further down here. And that should be the worst of the connections for that. And then the new one should slide right in. Looks like a few bolts on top just to get access to it. Now, as I'm looking a little closer at this, the crash bar was beat up a little bit. You got a quick little bend right there and then whatever this supporting piece all the way across is, is bent on the left side. And just based on how it was bent all the way up through here and down there, it was a higher collision. Luckily it wasn't down low. So uh, looking at the frame, it's still straight. So as soon as I replace those pieces, It'll be back to normal for the most part, and we'll be good to start building back out. A little bit of an update for the Mustang. I ended up getting the tuning software from SCT, so I am gonna be working on the tune here soon. Hopefully that'll get it running long enough so that I can actually bleed it and take it around the block. I'm getting real close with this, and I don't know what is taking me so long, but maybe it's a lack of motivation, who knows? But. Hopefully that will be running here soon. So I'm gonna be doing two projects side by side and I will keep you updated on both. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, it would help me a lot. If you wanna see more of the Velocitor, um, there's gonna be a lot more to come. Probably a couple videos worth of painting, uh, fixing, rebuilding, stuff like that. I still have a little bit more teardown to do, so it'll be a little bit, a little bit of a project we've got here. Um, we'll keep the Mustang going too, uh, as a little side thing. I probably won't release anything until anything big happens. Uh, for now, it's just going to be a lot of troubleshooting, but we'll catch you in the next one.